<laughs> All right. I think everybody's going to um, recognize the tune in any case. Gather all around me and I'll tell to you a tale About the Liberal Caucus, Eddie, Chris, and Dale <laughs> One bestowed a fancy job their pal will get to keep A second accused of bullying, the third of being a creep <clears throat> Now to head up their marketing, the room's a pro required Chris Mitchell Moore, he got involved and Judy Foote was hired Surprise, no competition, but appointed all the same Mitchell Moore says it was his right, but still, that's pretty lame. <laughs> when a colleague called out Kirby, the media was a buzz. Of course, he went ballistic, because that's what Kirby does. Kirby told a different tale, but that's beside the point. You don't get to bury the story, because you say she was smoking a joint. <laughs> now, Eddie Joyce has ever been a bully of renown. People are unable to work when Eddie is around. The business of government is not a game. <laughs> the business of government is not a game. And so if you're keeping it from being done, maybe it's time to go. Meanwhile, back at Muskrat Falls, the CEO got stuck explaining he forgot about 800 million bucks. Nobody asked Paul Davis, cause Paul is out the door. Kinda like the plastic bags at the NLC store. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Compensated by the public purse, given important jobs. Some basic human, uh, sorry, <clears throat> again. Final verse, compensated <laughs> by the public first, given important tasks. Some basic human decency is not a lot to ask. <laughs> Does that present a challenge? Is the learning curve that steep? All anyone is asking you is don't you be a creep. <laughs> Woo! Woo is right. Oh, and he flicks the papers. That's right. Sean panting. <laughs> <laughs>